congratulations on uh, being named National Player of the Week. Get some comments about that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an amazing accomplishment. I mean, to me, it didn't really feel like much just because of my goal is just to win. Um, and I guess that just comes with winning. Um, so that's cool to have, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really like register to me right now. Maybe when I, you know, when I'm done, when I'm done here one day, I don't know when, but when I look back on it, it'll probably be really like cooler. Um, but as of right now, I'm just trying to focus on the wins and whatever comes with that comes with it. Yeah, 942 crew, uh, they've been doing a great job. We're trying to, uh, you know, break the record for attendance, you know, student attendance. And, uh, you know, I just want them to come out. I know the fans will come out, so I'm not too worried about that. But, you know, you know, I love 942 crew. How do you prepare for an environment potentially like that where there's extra energy? Um, keep doing what we're doing. I mean, we've, we've played in, uh, you know, whole different atmospheres. I mean, at the end of the day, it's... We're just going to go out there and do what we got to do. We've been preparing um, well. We played this team already, so um, it's a little bit easier for us to game plan. Um, but uh, the, the atmosphere is going to be crazy, and it's going to be a home court advantage, so it's just going to work in our favor. Bring it started. You guys banged up playing Oregon last year in the Pac-12 tournament. Oh, yeah. That was a big game. Right? Yeah. Semifinals. This is a big game. What do you think about just getting another crack at them, especially because you and, and Pritchard kind of are head-to-head? -head. Oh yeah, man. Uh, you know, we know that Oregon's a great team. He's a great player. Um, you know, they they got us in the tournament in, in, in their house, and you know now it just feels only right just to go ahead and and get another crack at them. And you know, our our crowd's gonna be great. You know, we're gonna have a lot of things on our side. We just gotta go out there, play our game. Uh, you know, you know, play better defense in the first half. Not not let them get going uh, so early. But uh, you know, it's just fun. Like this is what basketball is. You know. This four man, you get to, you know, get another crack at a team, and you know we've been, uh, you know, wanting to play them for a very long time, and now the opportun opportunity opportunity um, presents itself. So. What have you learned about their style over the years and trying to control the, the way that the game is played? Um, I think we just got to play a whole, you know, the whole shot clock. You know, we we know that they're gonna, you know, play um, the whole shot clock. They're gonna get the best shot. They're gonna move the ball. So all we have to do is match that intensity. Stay solid on defense. Um, you know, don't gamble. Just stay solid and uh, you know play play the best solid defense that we can. And then when we get uh, the rebound, we just push and play our game. But uh, we're gonna have to play a full shot clock as we know. You know, Ray, coaches sometimes say it's really hard for teams to deal with success. Uh, you know. When you have the season you're having right now, what are your keys of really just being able not to have too many peaks and too many valleys all throughout the game? Um, to stay stay uh, sharp and stay consistent and disciplined on the little things. Um, as far as in, you know, wearing the same shoes, it's as simple as that, making sure that we consistently stay with the same routine, same thing that, you know, when we were losing, we were doing, when we were winning, we were doing. Um, you know, so just... Little things like that is my job to make sure, like, we have to stay disciplined, you know, early to early to lift still, early to on a bus, you know, what we're wearing, the little things. Because when you start winning, you start to feel like you could do certain things that you, you know, that you shouldn't do. So my job is to make sure that my team is, uh, you know, staying disciplined and doing the little things and, you know, keeping a, a level head because, you know, as we know here, sometimes things could be taken so fast away from you. Um, and that's just the main thing is that we got to stay the course. We can't stay, like I've been saying it this whole year, we got to stay hungry. Um, we got to keep our eyes on our, on our prize because at the end of the day, we could lose a couple games and now everything we work for is gone. So we got to make sure we stay the course. It's hard if not to peek up and look at those things and say, this team is in a tournament, that team is in a tournament, and kind of see where you are. How hard is it not to look at that and stay that course? Uh, it's, it's not hard at all because if you don't, we don't have a number next to our name. Our school, we don't have, you know, we don't, we're not ranked, we're not number one in the country, so that stuff is easy. That stuff is something that you don't even need to look about, look, uh, worry about until you get that, and we have, we haven't got that yet. Um, so um, that's the easy part, uh, and and the way I think about it is that, uh, you know. My goal at first was not to lose a game in the season, and that was obviously that's that's gone, but. Um, you know, it's just easy, man. It's just to stay hungry, man. This is not the, you know, this is not as a team and, and as individuals. This is not uh, where we want to stop at. We want to continue to play basketball after this. So, um, I'm, we're not at that level yet. So we got to stay hungry. Have you pointed out to somebody when you know, you're, you're using different shoes or you need to wear different clothes on the bus? You're changing up. 
Yeah, because I mean, certain things is like uh, it's mandatory. You know, it's not like a setup rule. You know, if if you know, coach or somebody says wear gray sweatsuits, then we wear gray sweatsuits. And you know, if you have a gray sweatsuit with uh, like a you know, you're wearing a Arizona State black shirt, change it. Wear the gray one because that's what's you know, little things like that. You know, translates on the court. And, and I just that's how what I believe, and that's what I you know stood stood by. Ready, to what extent do you feel like when just other guys are scoring, like Kamani and Mickey the last game, and Khalid when he was playing, just to what extent do you see that open up the offense compared to maybe earlier in the season? Oh, I mean, that's it's a big difference. It uh, opens up the lane, and they don't have to uh, key in on Melo. They don't have to, you know, when they trap the post, now they're more aware of other guys hitting shots. It just, when more guys are making plays, the harder it is to contain and double off guys. Last year, we could, you couldn't do that because, you know, we had other guys stepping up. But now, as, you know, guys are starting to slowly step up and, you know, do what they're capable of doing, now it's, it's harder. So uh, I think we're, we're getting at the right pace. I think we're, we're peaking at the right time. We just got to keep going, man. This is, it's still, uh, still a season left. We still got, you know, a handful of games left. So um, we just got to do the necessary things and make plays. When it comes to a three-point shooting routine, over the course of the teams have games where they shot really well from beyond the arc, from the ceiling, and then that time they haven't really shot well. So on those nights when three-pointers aren't really falling, how do you guys like, play around that? Uh, I got to take over, uh, as simple as that. Uh, you know, when guys, you know, have an off night like everybody else does, um, it's my job for other, for me to do something about it, um, and that's just what it is. Uh, I gotta get I gotta get the win no matter what, um, no matter how anybody's playing. Because at the end of the day, um, they're gonna look at you know who won, uh, and it's, that's got to be us. So um, that's just how I look at it. Have you and Alonzo done anything to build chemistry other than just practicing? Um, not really. I mean, I, I knew what he's capable of. Everybody knows he could score the ball. Um, we were just waiting for him to click, and he's he's clicking now. Um, so we just stay in the course. He's doing what he has to do, and you know, I'm I'm here to give him the ball and you know, uh, help the team win. That's really really what's it about. But he's been playing well, and you know, can't complain with what he's doing. And I know you're by nature a very optimistic guy, but uh, two two months ago today, I lost to St. Mary's. Obviously. Um, not really, not really, because I, I always thought, you know, well, whatever team I'm on, I'm always going to think that, you know, we're always going to have the best shot and no, nothing's bad, you know. We're, even the St. Mary's game was, you know, not the, the loss we wanted, you know, 40-point loss, but I always thought, like, it's okay, we got more games left, we, we could still get this going, so um, that wasn't really a concern of mine. I was just always like, we're going to get it right, don't worry, we got, I got faith in you guys, and uh, even for me, I, had, I didn't score that game. So it was just kind of like uh, I, I knew what, you know, I was capable of. And one game doesn't define who I am. Um, and it was a learning experience for myself and my teammates. And we took it and, and uh, we learned from it. And it didn't have to be a necessarily, uh, you know, we had to learn right away. Uh, it took us some time, but uh, we, we got there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.